Good day, dear great surgeon. Today we gonna discuss the mark distribution of MRCS Part A exam. You can't enter this exam without knowing the distribution of mark about this exam because it will be your key of granting mastering this exam. You have 300 questions in two paper. First paper is 108 question. The second paper is 120 question. And they have a specific mark distribution that will grant you the specific chapter you have to stress on during your study. So let's be familiar with the paper one. And paper one, frankly, will be about basic science and mainly anatomy. To make it frankly, if you master the anatomy, you have mastered the whole exam because it's overlapping with many chapters like the trauma, orthopedics, pediatrics, as well as the neurosurgery. So everything is all about anatomy because 75 questions are pure anatomy, as you can see. And those 75 pure anatomy questions are distributed among the upper limb and lower limb, head and neck, abdomen, thorax, as well as the embryology and the head and neck. So regarding the embryology, don't confuse yourself regarding the embryology because it's already overlapping with many chapters. So focus only on the required scope of your exam within the EMRCS question bank. So in the upper limb and lower limb as well, you will not have to stress on the regular scope you have been during your undergraduate stage because the upper limb and lower limb already have a scope within them because the upper limb including the breast and both including the dermatome and myotomes of the limbs and they are a master question in the exam as well as the abdomen is stressed on the vascular supply and neurological supply of the abdomen so take care and they are overlapping with the GIT and the colon and when it comes regarding the thorax, you have at least one question in the brineum. We have at least one question in the head and neck. We have one question. So it's not a big deal. Don't create your own monster. This was the 75 question of anatomy. Regarding paper one, we have 45 question about applied surgical physiology. And take care, they are organized in chapters and categorized already just like the anatomy we have the cardiovascular respiratory gastrointestinal system as well as the urinary system endocrine and the neurological system we have pure six chapter with 45 question distribution 45 question distributed among about six chapter every chapter have five question but this is not old because every chapter from them is already having a fixed question like the cardiovascular system you will be having the ecg question about three from the five a targeted door normal ecg question asking about the wave about the recurrent regular question not the tricky ones as well as the respiratory system including the abg and the renal system will be about the buffering system and the ABG as well. The neurological system will be asking about three questions from the five about Glasgow Coma Scale. So the 45 questions about physiology, you're already mastering them by knowing the most common question to be answered. And the electrolyte imbalance, where it could be? Of course, it's with the urology. And regarding the endocrine system, you already know them from the endocrine chapter of the surgical endocrine knowledge. So don't create your own monster. Again, the pharmacology, how many pharmacology questions will come in the exam? Eight pharmacological questions which are already subcategorized and involved and overlapping with many chapters. Regarding the surgical pathology, we have 37 questions. Already categorized two questions per chapter. And let me make it clear regarding the pathology. The pathology is a revision with every surgical specialty question. So you will be familiar with the pathology and you will grant pathology in your exam. This was paper 1, 75, 47, and 45, and 37 with the microbiology half 7 and the imaging half 5 and data 
interpretation and the audit are three you have the whole 180 marks and you can grant them this is the mark distribution of part e and part b of the exam will be about the surgical speciality the surgical speciality we are talking about 30 questions in total about the general shock wound burn and fracture dislocation as well as organ specific trauma those are a must question in the exam and when it comes regarding surgical care of, uh, of children we have seven questions which are already overlapping across the subcategories and the medical legal aspect surgical practice we have only three questions and you will be familiar with them and we discuss them in all our voice notes regarding the rest of the chapters the breast disease has three and the gene to urinary system have four but when you notice the orthopedic he is telling you there are only seven questions. Let me tell you about this track. The orthopedic chapter already overlapping with trauma, preoperative, postoperative, and as well as the anatomy, as well as the pediatric. So it's not only seven questions. You will be surprised that the surgical specialty paper two, it's all about preoperative, postoperative trauma, as well as orthopedics because they are overlapping with every chapter the rest of the chapter are no big deal and when you read that you have acute emergency about two questions no they are not two because they are overlapping with every chapter the gastroenterology have emergency the, even the endocrine have thyroid store emergency everything has emergency so there will be a pure two question emergency but they are not two so master the trauma master the orthopedic master the p operator and post operator you master the exam hope this granted you the 120 question of the exam and made it clear for you that you can make it so target the main chapters and you can target the whole exam and master it. So happy to have been with you. Together we can with the grace of God.